back. Today we are starting on an adventure of redoing my office. It is very empty. It's very drab. There's some like random boxes that have been sitting on the ground since we moved in. We need to make this a functional space that both my husband and I can use. I'm joining up with Raymore and Flanagan to fill this space up. So I'm really excited to bring you along as we make over my office. Michael and I just got to Raymore and Flanagan. We're gonna go in and do a little bit of shopping, see if we can't agree on matching desks because the big thing for us with this project is that we need his and hers office. So we need something that Michael likes but that I also like. And at the end of the day, Michael, who will probably win? You. And how come? Happy wife, happy life. That's right, yes. So Michael and I are looking for a style like this, sort of industrial. And I like these ones because they have the shelves that go down the sides, so you can fill them in with baskets. So we need to pick a rug and I want something really light so that it balances out the dark desk that we just picked. What's good about these rugs is even in the store you can see how they're going to look in each room, which is good for me because I'm really indecisive. So we decided this one. Okay, so we got all our big pieces, so now we need to pick just a few small accents because the desks that we picked have those really great sort of shelves down the bottom and then we're also going to be putting some shelves above them. So I need some really great accent pieces and Michael that's not an accent piece. So what is your theme here with the, uh, the desk? Um, I'd like to thank my mom and my dogs. Okay, so I just spotted this set of three. You can put stuff in them. I'm thinking put some succulents or some air plants in here. All right, we we're about to walk out and we saw the perfect accent chair. You know, for when people come to visit us in our office and they make like really important appointments, yeah. they can sit in this chair. Like, I think Austin will. We're just about to finish up here and I just realized how excited I am to buy big girl furniture that's gonna come already put together. Like, people are gonna bring it and they're gonna put it in my room for me and I don't even have to pick up a screwdriver. And it's amazing quality. All right, the big day's here. All of our furniture has arrived and it is time to put this office together. We currently have just the two desks. These are the desks that we went with and I can't wait to show you guys how they look together. But I was totally stressing about finding two desks that would span this width right here. I didn't want like a lot of extra space and I also wanted desks that we really loved and the right more planning and people brought them uh, earlier this week and Michael sent me a picture and they honestly fit like a glove in here. It is going to be so perfect. So first we need to put all of our wires together for the internet and then we can start putting the space together and doing the fun stuff. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get our wires under control because there's lots of wires and I have a huge pet peeve about wires showing. So my first little trick is that I always get a basket and I use my basket to hide everything. I do this in our living room for our TV and we are going to do it in the office. So I just get everything organized inside of here. I mean, as much as you can organize wires, let's be real, but we have all of our internet cords in here, our cable cords, and then it all just comes out a little hole and we're gonna hide it on one of the shelves. because we need to charge the power drill. So I'm gonna do a quick little DIY. If you remember, I picked these up when I was at Raymore Flanagan and I wanna make little terrariums out of two of them. But we don't have studs along the whole wall and I don't want to worry about things falling out. So we got these little guys and you put them into your drywall if you don't have a stud there and then you screw the screw into there and it gives you a lot more hold so you can put, you know, don't have to worry about your shelves like falling out of the drywall. So I'm going to give you guys another little trick. When you are hanging up shelves, you're bound to get like scuff marks on the wall and um, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is like the perfect thing to get that off without ruining the paint that's on your wall. There we go, all gone. All right, the room is finally complete and now 
I can reveal it to you guys. I'm really excited. Let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome to my crib. Come on in. I get all my work done. I do my really important blog and social media business stuff. Very, very important. <laughs> Look at this weather man has a cat. Where's he going? <gasps> Is he gonna jump all the way there? He's gonna. <gasps> and right over here is, as they say on cribs, where the magic happens. It's soft. All right, guys, that is a wrap on the office makeover. Let me know in the comments down below how you think I did on it. Also, let me know if you like these types of videos, if you like home decor type of content. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you get a notification every time there is a new video. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching, and I will see you all in my next video.